Audrey? The compass? I don't, I don't know what they're saying. I got a crazy idea, guys. Should we, should we do the tin can challenge and just what? eat what's in these tin cans? You I see if I can get. Oh, you're lifting the whole thing up. Oh. The smell. I know what those are. Guys. Uh, it doesn't smell. It smells like fish. <laughs> Good things do not come in small packages. What is that? <laughs> it's foamy. So foamy. <laughs> okay. okay, it's just white water. Do you can milk? Oh, Dad. Yeah, Dad. I have a feeling they've been listening, and we shouldn't keep this treasure here. Yeah. Let's get it put away. Okay, Jake, you take these. Hide them one way. Uh, Ty, take okay. these. Hide them. I will take the box and I'll get it out of here. Let's go, go, go. Guys, I gotta jump in here. I've gotta, I've gotta get you guys up to speed on what's going on. Oh, we just got another message. Oh, geez. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Time for an update. This is the time to spill the tea. This is the time to give you guys the secret. This is the time to show you guys what the next. Uh, task is that I've been asked to do for snake and maybe give you guys some insight now full disclosure I am NOT a trader all right you guys are gonna think I'm a trader because what's gonna happen in this video is gonna make me look like a bandit and guys I'm here to tell you I am NOT a bandit I'll look straight into the camera I am NOT a bandit okay I didn't use any of the signals I didn't look up left or right I didn't clear my throat I didn't stammer I didn't any of those things I am NOT a bandit what Snake is asking me to do is going to make me look like a bandit and you guys are going to be commenting, David's a bandit, David's a bandit. I'm not a bandit. So please follow through, watch the whole video before you draw conclusions because I think I am being used um, by Snake. I, there's some master plan out there. I don't know the full details of everything. So right now, I don't know if, if this is a ploy to, to get everybody to look at me when really it's another person. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, Snake just said he'll give me more information as soon as I check in with, uh, with what I did. Oh my goodness. Okay, Snake asked me. Okay, so here's the secret. S the secret is Snake told me that I have to go buy very, very specific items. Okay, and I had to go to one store and one store only. So I had to wait until I got back into a different town because it's the only place I could find this store. Here, check it out. Here's the store. If you guys can see it up there. Oh man, it's a country store. They, they sell lots of cowboy stuff. And I'm asked to buy a whole bunch of cowboy things. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take the camera in the store, hoping that they don't uh, tell me to turn the camera off. But you're gonna see the things. Snake sent me a list of items. When I was talking to him on the boat, he told me there's things that I have to buy. Um, okay, so I'm telling you, you're gonna think I am a bandit. I am not the bandit. Please, 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 please believe me. I'm not a traitor. I'm not the person that everybody's gonna think that is trying to get things to go wrong. Please just watch this entire video and then draw your conclusions. Then comment down below. Because guys, I think I'm being used, but I have to do this because if I don't, there's a second part of the secret that I can't tell at this point, but I will tell you guys, I promise I will tell you, but if I don't, if I don't accomplish these tasks, something crazy is going to happen. I don't want to say it's bad. It kind of is, but it's crazy. So I've got to accomplish these tasks and then we'll see what happens. So I'm heading into the store. I'm going to buy some items. I'm probably going to just take my phone and take pictures of them. Um, maybe I'll take a little video because if I take this camera in it'll stand out and I don't know if snake has got people in there watching me I don't know if bandits are in there watching for me and if I take this camera in obviously you'll know that I'm I'm vlogging or I'm, I'm Filming some sort of a video. So I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna go buy the stuff You'll see the things that are on the list and then I'll check in back with you. Remember. I am NOT a traitor. Okay guys I'm in the store. I had to put on my mask because I want to make sure that uh we take all safety precautions and also helps me blend in a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me. The first item that I was told to buy was this hat, a specific hat. It had to have those emblems on it. The next thing I have to buy is a horseshoe. I have no idea why. Let me get these and I'll take you to the next spot in the store. Okay guys, I found the next item on the list. I was told to find some parachute cord, specifically pink in color. Maybe that's why I had to come to this store because I have never seen pink cord like this before. I don't know why I've got to get pink. It's got to be a clue for something. 
write that down. But I gotta hurry up to my next list. There's a guy following me in here. Don't recognize him, but see if he comes up from behind me. He's been following me up and down all the aisles. Here we go. I gotta go, I just gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay guys, back in the vehicle now. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta get the hand sanitizer on before. Oh no, where'd my hand sanitizer go? Oh no. I'll find it here before I, my face is itchy. I wanna itch it, but I can't. Okay, I had to stop filming and kind of hurry up real fast because let me just tell you what happened in there. That guy that was following me around, he actually, when I walked around that corner, when I said I had to go, he actually came up to me and he said, I had the wrong horseshoe. And he took the horseshoe that was in my, my hand and he gave me a different one. And then he walked away. I followed him, gone. He was like, went around the corner and he just disappeared. But this is the horseshoe he gave me. I don't know why this one's so special. It looks just like the... I know why it's so special. I don't know if you guys can see this. Check this out. You see those numbers? What are the first two numbers? One, three, 13. Oh, I don't know what the other one had on it. I don't know why that's written on here. One, three, eight, eight, six. It's written on by hand. It's not engraved. Okay. Aren't horseshoes supposed to be lucky? Like you hold them up like this and it holds a lucky in. But why is the unlucky number 13 on a lucky horseshoe? Why was I only told to buy one? I don't know yet. Got the, the pink cord, got the hat. Now this is specifically, the girl that was, that checked me out at the check stand, she asked me, she's like, are you sure you wanna buy this hat? And I was like, why? She's like, cause this is a female's hat. It doesn't fit men, it doesn't really fit me. So I told her, yeah, that's what I wanted. I was told to buy the hat that looked like it had a symbol of the sun. That was the only thing that looked like the sun to me. <laughs> I don't know why I had to buy that one. I don't see any numbers on here that might make it look like it's anything different. So it's just that symbol. I guess we'll have to check out and see if that symbol's on anything that was in that, that treasure box. But here's the other two things I had to buy. This is what you guys are, oh, I just touched my nose. I got a hand sandy. I've got it here somewhere. Ah, anyhow, real fast. This is what's gonna make you guys say I'm a, I'm a trader. I had to buy leather gloves, but I couldn't buy the yellow leather gloves. This specifically said I had to have goat white leather gloves. Here's the next thing I had to buy. It had to be blue and it had to be a pullover bandana scarf. This is the kind that you pull over and it fits like this, right? White gloves, cowboy hat, cord I, I don't know what the cord's for horseshoe don't know what that's for but this obviously is making a bandit outfit i know you guys are thinking i'm the trader i'm not the trader okay i'm gonna drive i'm gonna go out to our trailer i've got a park dead in, in a in a lot that's far away from our house um where i can be away from the family i'll get back to you when i get there i'm gonna show everything and then oh my goodness i just got another text from snake i'll tell you what he said i'll be back yeah, I understand, but I, I don't quite understand why. Could you could you give me some more information as to why? Why does everything have to be in riddles? Why does everything have to be so secretive? Why can't you just be straight up with me and tell me what's going on? Look, I, I've done everything you've asked me to do so far. Here, I've, I've got the horseshoe. I just sent you a picture of it. The cable, the mask, the gloves, and the hat. I hid the tracker in, uh, let's see, it's Jordan, right? I hid the tracker in Jordan's clothes. I am still don't know why you wanted me to do that. Okay, you're, you're promising me this has nothing to do with the bandits. The bandits are not tracking us. This isn't a secret plan from the bandits. And you're promising me you're not a bandit? Yeah, I'm, I'm in my trailer. That's where you told me to go. What? I said the trailer, there's a what? Yeah. Check this out, guys. See that horse trailer? Yeah, what do you want me to do with the horse trailer? Stand by. Okay, I, I don't I don't quite understand. Okay, what do I do with all these things you had me buy? You're gonna 
No. Are you serious? You're gonna tell me who the traitor is? If I do this one last task, you're gonna tell me who the traitor is. Okay. No, I'm not recording this. No. Nope. Okay, that's all I have to do. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. Is there anything else I could do besides that? Are you sure? There's nobody out there with that horse trailer. I'm looking at it right now. There's nobody there. Nobody is there at the horse trailer. Okay, well, I will go do this task. I got to do it tonight because if I don't do it tonight, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. All right, as soon as I do, I'm gonna text you, but you've got to, you've got to tell me who the traitor is. Hello? He hung up. Guys, that was Snake. <laughs> All right. I don't know why he had me come out here to the trailer, but now he's telling me there's something to do with that horse trailer that's out there. Right out there, I don't know what that's all about. He told me I'll learn more about that when the when the information is necessary for me to know. That's what he said. Need to know basis, basically. But he told me to take all these things that I bought, and here's my task. I have to go hide it down in Audrey's room. As you guys know, Audrey took the bottle, the contents that were in the bottle, and she's out there looking for clues. She's trying to figure out what's going on. I'm thinking, guys, I told you I'm not the traitor. If I've got to put all this in Audrey's room, all these things, does this tell me that Audrey is becoming a bandit? Is this saying that Snake is now wanting Audrey to be kind of in the bandit's uh, outfit, the wearables of the bandit, to where now she is going to be a bandit? Is she been the traitor this whole time? It kind of makes sense. Let's, let's kind of put together some things here. Audrey was away at college. While she was away at college, she could have been recruited by the bandits. Guys, I, I'm now putting Audrey top on my list. Go down, look at all your clues. If you haven't been writing down the clues, go back and watch the previous videos about Tyler, about Jacob, about Jordan, about Katie, about all the things that could make them possibly a bandit. And now add Audrey's information now to the list. And who's got the most suspicious activity is it audrey or do you think it's somebody else comment down below because i will read your comments and i will i will then decide if i'm going to share some of that stuff with snake or not but snake told me that if i put this stuff in audrey's room if i take all these items here put it in audrey's room then he will tell me the last thing that i need to know he's going to tell me who the traitor is i think i've already figured it out i think it's audrey i know i've been saying it's everybody else but i really think now, because of what Snake told me to do, the things that we were able to find, I think Audrey was the one who found that treasure box. If, if I recall, off camera, over the past couple months, Audrey's been saying some different things that, um, now that I think about it, and I put this clue into play, I think Audrey could very well have been recruited by the bandits. But why? What's her end game? What's the motive? I just heard the truck pull up. Okay, I've got to lock up the trailer. I've got to get out of here. It's that guy from the store. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go, I gotta go. Guys, I accidentally dropped the other camera and I can't reach it because it fell out of the trailer. But look, this is why I dropped it because this truck pulled up. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. It pulled up right next to that horse trailer. There is a bandit, a cowboy, somebody. Maybe it's Snake just got out oh can you see him he's right there i don't dare look around the corner because then he'll see me looking but i somehow have to grab that other camera and run to the truck get in it and take off oh it looks like he's leaving i can't tell he's loading something up like it's snake told me to <sighs> i can't tell you i can't tell you what he told me about that yet i gotta plant stuff in audrey's in audrey's room first then I'll let you know. I just gotta make sure that if he watches this video that he, oh, there he is. They're getting a horse ready. Maybe that's why I had to get the horseshoe. Maybe he's missing a horseshoe. The other stuff is cowboy stuff. Maybe, maybe Audrey is gonna be going on a horse ride with the bandits 
Because that, that looked like a saddle that he just put inside of there. Guys, I, I can't say too much because the snake does watch this. If he knows about our channel, then he's going to know that I was recording the phone call, that I was videotaping all this. So I can't tell you what he said about that, but there he is again. Okay, guys, I got to get out of here. I got to figure out how to get out of here. Okay, guys, I'm back here at the house. Behind the store, as you know, is Audrey's room. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to hide these items. I don't know exactly how I'm going to hide them, where I'm going to hide them yet. I'm just going to go in there and try to figure it out. But uh, I've got to do it before Audrey gets home. Right now, I'm the only one here. I think Katie and the kids, they all left to go get dinner or something, but I'm not sure. But I'm going to hide these. I'm not going to show you guys where I'm hiding these because, again, if Snake is watching, then he'll know. And then maybe he's a double agent. Maybe he'll tell Audrey. Maybe he'll tell the bandits. I don't know. I don't know who to trust anymore. It's too crazy. I think it's weird that... The guy at the store handed me the, the horseshoe that had the number 13 on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna hide this. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Oh, who is it? It's Audrey.